There's only one youth shelter between Victoria and Nanaimo, and with the opioid crisis, skyrocketing mental health issues, and a serious housing shortage, demand is higher than ever for the Kiwanis Emergency Youth Shelter. Tess Van Stratton shows us the difference it's making in this week's Vital People. Hi. This is Keys. It is a short-term emergency shelter in Victoria. We're getting a tour of the South Island's only youth shelter. We see kids for a variety of reasons. We see them from like a breakdown in the family home or a foster placement. We see kids who are using substances, homelessness. And we do more case management during the day. The Kiwanis Emergency Youth Shelter can house up to 10 kids at a time, and the housing shortage and opioid crisis are making it more challenging than ever for those on the front lines. We do lots of longer stays than we used to. We see a lot of kids using substances that they didn't use five years ago. We have, you know, 14-year-olds using fentanyl when 10 years ago, most of the kids were just smoking pot. Youth who are struggling more in the world of substance use. Staff can check in. We do often we do bed checks throughout the night. Instead of staying two or three days, some teens are now living at the shelter for months at a time because there's nowhere else to go. And it's one of the many services offered by the Victoria Youth Empowerment Society. The Victoria Youth Empowerment Society has been in operation for over 30 years now and our goal is really to offer youth safe supported services that help them meet their goals. The nonprofit has a youth drop in center for basic needs like laundry, showers, and meals. It runs a specialized youth detox program and offers counseling for teens and families. We've definitely seen a higher demand since COVID. Um, we've seen a lot of youth that are requiring extra services around like social isolation and anxiety. There's not enough mental health support, there's not enough substance use support, and there's, and the drugs are so toxic that, you know, people try things for the very first time and they don't survive. For Thea, who's helped a lot of kids in the 15 years she's worked for the society, it's difficult to see so many people struggling. That's yeah, heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking every day, right? Like you kind of do the best you can with what you've got. But despite the tough days, it's clear they're making a difference. Being able to have services that say we see you, we hear you, and we're going to try and meet your needs, I think is really important for them. You know, that's the time period where they need to know that adults are there and are, are looking out for them. That might only be support for 12 hours, or it might be three months, and maybe, you know, they come back when they're 20 years old or 30 years old and say, you know, this place saved my life. And I, and I believe we do that. I believe we save lives. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.